Welcome back. It's Friday. You know what that means. We're going to play some more Shogi. I think we'll continue playing 10 minute, even though I've been threatening to change that up. But for now, 10 minute is quite fun. Uh, hopefully I can improve on yesterday's mistakes, where I got away with some really sketchy moves. Good luck. Alright, so they're playing Static Rook. We're going to... Oh, okay. We're going to offer this bishop exchange. They decline. Let's take the center. Central fa rook, here we go. Coming off to the side. Um, Actually, wait. Giko suggests I play this way. That way I don't have to fully commit my king to that edge of the board. And here's where, I, yeah, that's fine to bring this up. Since we're playing Central Foul Rook, I think we'll complement our normal castle here with playing Kimura Amino. Um, let's to prevent this bishop from moving here and ask if they're diving into the corner. They're not, so here we go. They built Mino, we built Kimura Mino. They blocked their bishops, and now we bring our silver forward. Although Giko continuously reminds me to bring this silver out as soon as possible. But that's not how I've been playing this. Um, Alright, so... Do I go up here? Do I block my pawn, or do I go here? If I block the pawn, there's pluses and minuses to that. The minus is that since they haven't moved the knight, it's really hard for me to attack anything. The minus to my going up one is that I've blocked my rook, and that um, it's still hard for me to attack. Uh, either way, they get a counterattack that's kind of hard to deal with. So... Oh, okay, wait a second. Maybe I'm learning from my experience here, just a little bit. So now we can actually bring the bishop out and the knight out. And the bishop can sit here because the silver covers its head. And if they push the rook pawn, that's where things get dicey here. But they didn't do that. Um, normally we drop back the rook to avoid spicy tactics here. Uh, do I have time for that right now? Um... I mean, if not now, then when? All right, back we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing you'll find in this game is you really, really, really don't want to block your pieces. So when they play a pawn in front of their bishop, that pawn's going to sit in front of the bishop forever. This bishop has never seen the light of day. When they fail to move this pawn in front of the rook, well, they really have to move it. They're transitioning their castle to something that takes more space. Um... I mean, I should do the same thing, but I'm really nervous about doing that. Um, okay, we're going to oppose on this file so they don't clamp down on my space too much. Now, I've not played a, a shape that's congruous with this move, I don't think. But I didn't feel... Like, it was safe to push this pawn and try to bring the knight out, because this knight is definitely used for defense. If they're building a higher castle, that means they're weaker over here. So I'm just being a little patient. I don't know whether it's appropriate to move the bishop and the knight just yet. Because the bishop might also settle back here.
Also, I might consider pushing this edge pawn, trying to activate the bishop through the center. Um, yeah, so I've got options. So yeah, they transition their castle. Um, this makes it weak to a rook exchange, so let's seek to exchange rooks. Um, Hmm. Okay, we're going to move the rook to file 4, and since we're moving the rook to file 4, then um, the bishop could still be on file 3 or on file 4. If I put bishop here, then it could move here next. I don't know where their rook's going to settle. They might even move it here directly and do some really crazy stuff. I don't think they'll do that, but they could. But yeah, we keep both delaying action on this half of the board. Because um, I'm not sure which pawn I want to push. I could also bring the rook to file 3 and move the gold over. But I think I need it covering this point since my bishop's about to move. Still haven't pushed this edge pawn. Still haven't brought this knight out to hit this bishop, but they've not built the fortress shape. They've been still they're instead building a different shape here, so my knight's not so well not really able to attack it directly. Nana <laughs> Fung. Okay. Yeah, I didn't need to play this. All right, so we still don't have a pawn in hand. It's still quite uncomfortable. Um, so next, yeah, if they exchange pawns, we drop the pawn back here. They get a pawn in hand. Again, not comfortable at all. Uh, whoa, really? Okay. Let's see if they notice what I'm up to. I'm up to just trying to figure out what they're doing, but, you know, if the bishop opens, it cannot take this directly, but also, like, there's a space for my rook. So, what are you doing, sir? Oh, copying my strategy, I see. Very well, then. Um, the hell am I supposed to do against that? Oh no, I call their bluff on it. That's what I'm supposed to do. If the rook moves off this file, there's a pretty nice counter here that just wins a knight. So... Well, it's their move. I didn't expect this. I mean, I thought about it, but, like, I've never seen any other game where if this happens that the correct response is this, and now I know why. Uh, so, okay, they want a pawn in hand. I can't blame them. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Right, you get a pawn in hand. Now that I have a pawn in hand, I could push this and drop a pawn right there, and then take a lance, and then take a rook, and then promote my bishop this way. And I mean, at some point they're going to interfere with that plan, right? But it's one move faster now, so um, we'll see if they take this or just ignore it. I'm impressed that I've actually played oh, a strategy that seems continuous in nature. Um, I shouldn't be so impressed while the game is still in progress. Alright, well hopefully I've not blundered into anything. 
We'll find out in just a minute. Um, I tend to get carried away on this, but uh, see, this bishop is still blocked, so it's still not doing anything. Um, okay, let's block this rook. If they want to exchange the rook for a bishop, well, they just played a castle shape where I could really use a rook. So, we'll see if they make that exchange or not. I'm guessing that they're going to try to like drop a bishop, a silver here, and then try to surround. Well, no, they can't because this is hanging. Yeah, it's this has been an unfortunate series of events. Just, um, I'm accidentally collecting stuff here, there, and everywhere. All because their bishop is blocked. Uh, but they have a really solid castle, so maybe. Their counterattack here, now that they've got my bishop, could be very strong. Maybe. Uh, and this knight is a menace. If it invades over here, so let's remove it. And now my attack begins. Um, how to break their castle. That's a tough one. Um, I want them to put their pieces in defense of their castle. Gofun. So, let's see. Let's try not to hang my rook to some kind of fork. Um, but expect that I'll probably lose it to a fork somehow anyway. Alright, so I strike their gold. I'm hitting a lance. They might put some peace in the way. Now I'm considering to drop a silver. Oh, oh my goodness. Really? Okay then. Um, sure. I mean, that makes sense. It's aggressive. Um, so I will attack your castle directly and not really pay much heed to what you're doing. Uh, if you take here, I take here, silver takes. I promote forking gold and bishop. You take my rook. I take your... No, I can't take this gold. <laughs> I misread... Yeah, you know, I mentioned I was going to drop this rook to a fork. I just told you that that was going to happen. Well, here it is. That's the fork. All right, so there is a proverb that goes, don't run from a fork. Um, so let's try to make something positive of it. Um... I mean, I wasn't completely wrong in spirit to try to break this castle. There's a lot of good that comes from that. So, do I sack this rook for the silver? Or do I take this lance over here and get my rook blocked? I don't think I need the lance to attack. Um... Right, so we'll sacrifice this, and then use our remaining rook on this file. So we have run from a fork, but hey, we got something. But yeah, moral of the story, drop here instead of there. <laughs> and that would have avoided this whole fork business, but probably some other tactic could have cropped up. Okay. That's bizarre. We're both playing super aggressively this game. Um, 
I accept, and we're going to see where we end up. So, if I'm counting right, pawn, knight, silver, bishop, rook. None of those say gold. So we're going to check here. And really the only defense to this would be to drop a gold general. You can try other defenses, but none is going to work as effectively as a gold. It's just... no. Um, so this in turn lets me continue attacking. So... We check right next to the king. It would be great if I had other pieces to attack with. Um, knight check. King of silver, king, no. Knight, king, gold, king, silver. Yeah, no, that's mate. Check. That's a good one. All right, let's play again. Now, if you see me playing Shogi on other websites, I spend more time reading things out and less time playing on a hunch. Uh, sometimes I get lucky, but um, we'll take it. Good luck. All right, Santa, here we go. All right, I'll do so this is playable. We keep learning over and over again that this pawn move, however aggressive it is with both bishops opposed this way, this is still playable. Was I reading that silver takes or rook takes in this position? I mean, I think they're both I'm confusing this with a different thing. Um, silver takes, I think, is the main move. And if not, we're going to find out momentarily. So, two pawns are covered. Alright, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, that does defend the center. Um, it's not what I expected. Got alarm bells going off because, like, this is not one of the defensive moves I've seen before. I mean, they are defending a lot of pawns, but yeah, I don't see a way to break that. Hmm. All right. So if I play fourth foul rook, I survive this, and then can look up after the game what to do in this situation play fourth foul rook. If they pin this rook, um, we can break the pin with the silver. Okay, this is one of the ways to decline. Um, Hmm. All right, so I've survived this opening in a pretty not ideal fashion. And can look up after the game what it is that I'm supposed to have done ordinarily. Now, if I move my king again, there's this fork. I can't really walk right into that. Um, I think this is fine. We'll find out. Okay, their king is adventuring a bit. Um, there's Mino Castle that we know and love. Okay, um, since their king is so close to the edge, let's ask. Okay, they're not going to play Anaguma. So now we transition to high Mino while trying to figure out what they're doing. Um, interesting. 
I play Hymeno a bit too early. Okay. Interesting. Um, there's some challenges with that opening, you know? So... That is bizarre. Okay, I can push this without... Yeah, there's Bald Mino. Yep. And that's not a commitment to Silver Crown. It's just, just Bald Mino at this point. Um, yeah, they've built Yagara. Even though my Rook is not pointing on this file, they built the Fortress shape anyway. Yes, exactly. This is overly heavy. We're going to do the same thing this game that we did last game, which is take the pieces and then break the castle from behind. Um, that's the plan. Now, since there's not a bishop here, I'm not going to bring my knight out and try to puncture that. Um, note that now there's a tactic here with if their rook ever steps off that. Nanafun. Uh, um Yeah, I'm still like super paranoid that some tactics going to show up and ruin my day. Um, paranoia doesn't suit me. Okay, they are potentially offering a rook exchange in a position that very much favors me to have a rook exchange. Um... Is there anything I want to do before diving into this? I think the answer is no. I mean, I could push this edge and maybe give my knight somewhere to go, but... I think I'm as set as I can get here. Hmm. Oh. Ideas. Um. They're trying to promote a bishop on me. And be stealthy about it. Um. Hmm. This point is weak. Yeah, I need to like move put my shape pawns into a good shape here. So we're gonna push that. That's gonna be our little nuance so I don't get effed over in a move or two. Uh -oh. So I think this is fine. Yes. Yeah, Rook Exchange is going to give them a tempo. Uh, their silver is hanging. So I've been debating here, do I actually offer the Rook Exchange or do I just bring the silver up? And I think I'd just bring the silver up at this point. But then they can drop a bishop back here. And, well, no, they can't. Not easily. Alright, so yeah, we're going to delay 
So now that I've blocked bishop 5-5 five five with this pawn draw or move. Um, okay, they've been super uh, interested in what's going to follow as a bishop drop. There it is. Um, they have no other pieces to drop at this point. So they're going to hit my rook and... Oh, I'm sorry. Now they have a pawn. That's what I missed. In addition to all this other stuff. That seems kind of crucial. All right. So what do we do now? I mean, I had similar tactical ideas. Um, I think we do the obvious. The question is, what's next? Do I drop here or there? Yeah, I think this is the better place to drop. Uh, Rook Exchange? Truly. I don't even have to do this. Um, interesting. Alright, if I get... Yeah, no, I'm going to exchange rooks because otherwise I drop, like, five pieces. So let's go down this path where I don't hang all my pieces at once. Um... Yeah, I we're going to potentially take this gold to break their castle in half. Potentially also take the hanging silver. Um. Hmm. Ippun sanjubyo. I have a pawn. I'm not sure how to use it. Ippun. Right, let's do this. This looks interesting. Ah, yes, so I'm... All right. Um, this is interesting. They say don't run from a fork. Two games in a row, I am running from a fork. It's eventually got to backfire, right? Yeah. 
All right, they've taken my attack away from their castle, so my attack was not well conducted. Um, they can drop anything here, and my castle falls apart. That's not good. Well, it's all relative. My attack dies, but I need to... Oh, just kidding. What am I doing? No, I'm not reading anymore. This is just pure panic. Yeah, my attack is much too slow, so I just lose, in addition to having 14 seconds left. Um, yeah, I thought I could break the castle. Turns out I don't really know how that works. All right. Yeah, thanks for game. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's play one more. Shogi Wars lets us play three games a day. Maybe next game I'll play better. It would help if I played the opening correctly, wouldn't it? Good luck. Also, that breaks my win streak. Alright, so I've heard that third file versus central file is a mismatch in favor of third file rook. That's the rumor. Um, I'm going to stick with it. So, let's see, are they going to hang the pawn? I've moved up my silver hanging this pawn before. Um... They bring the bishop over, we can hit the bishop. Okay. This looks fun. Let's have some fun. That's a pawn. They, they defend the thing that was hanging. Dropping a pawn seems a little too bold, uh, bold here. I was going to use another word, ballsy, but what does that mean here? Um... So my rook comes over, they have to move their gold to protect this, but they do survive. Alright, let's build a castle and get out of here. I don't know what they're doing, but it is weird. Alright, we built, there's Mino. Can even build Imino here and see if they're gonna dive into the corner. They are, so we are set up for that. There's our bishop lined up with the corner, there's our knight lined up with the corner. So all we need now is a sacrifice to bust this open. Um, and the wherewithal to actually play it. So if I sack here, how dead am I? I've not done this before. No, I bring the knight out first. That's how this is done. Um, all right, we're going to learn something today. We're going to get all edumacated about how this tomahawk variation works. Um... I don't know that I need to sack immediately. Maybe it would benefit me to have the silver up closer to this. Maybe the silver is fantastic where it's at. I don't know. They built the most solid shape they can have. They can't make it more solid, so... 
so it's not a great time for me to like actually pull out the sack. It's a little too late, I think. Um, so I'm gonna bring I don't know what. Like their attack is going nowhere, so if I bring up this bishop, we have a bishop exchange. No, they block with this silver. I am so, so very confused by whatever they're doing here. Um, Nanafun. Knight takes. It's hard to read all of this. Knight takes, knight takes, pawn up, knight drop, pawn takes. I don't know. Um. But I don't think further delay is going to help me more than help. Like, they're eventually going to have an attack that lifts off the ground. Wait, if I wait for this knight to move up, then if I do that, they're going to bring the silver back. But then the bishop's head is defended. Okay, we're going to do something whimsical. Yeah, maybe Ta Shogi explained is correct. Um... Maybe I'm imagining things, and very likely I am. So... Okay. Well, it, I guess it's mutual attack time, then. sure. Okay. Where's your attack? I don't see it. And I don't think my failure to see your attack is entirely... Uh, my fault. Okay. Oh, when Ibisha does not push any pawn on third, fourth, fifth file. Okay. Interesting. I've been tomahawked once. It was like a year ago. I don't remember exactly how it went. Um, I do remember that it hurt. Okay, so... Now my rook goes somewhere. Um... Maybe. Go from. Okay, I drop back here. Hmm. Oh, wait. I'm not thinking about this correctly. All right, I think this is good enough. 
I'm down five minutes. Well, not five minutes, but just a little bit tense having all this stuff thrown at me. So, saw this much, and I thought this was okay. Um, I don't have another pawn in hand. That's a bit awkward. I wonder how many turns I had that. The strap. It looks pretty convincing. A piece for a piece. Nifun Sanjubio. Take another piece. So my pawn has been removed from this file, which means I have other tactics available to me. If gold takes, I can drop a silver here and break this up further. Uh, and I do. Um, so I take this, and then I remove the other gold, which might not even be my best move there. But it seems adequate. Oh, shit. Nifun. Um. Okay, let's get my king out of here. I could have taken this? Maybe? I wasn't watching the move order close enough, but rook takes might have been possible. Might have completely shut this down, but if they drop another thing there, I can take whatever lands there next. Nice. Well spotted. <sighs> I 
Um, oh, actually, that's not as good as it looks. Because I have that square covered twice. Okay, don't lose my rook. They're going to drop a bishop. They're going to try to fork me somehow. Eep, uh, boom. Maybe I even allow the fork if I survive the attack. But yeah, let's keep the king and the rook not on the same color square. Imagine the squares have colors. Now imagine my king does not go on the same color square as the rook. Um, let's get our king out of here. Oh, well this allows a check. They have a gold drop check. This would give up their final gold general. Um, wait, no, 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 I have to escape the king now. Can't forget to escape the king. Um, but yeah, next I need to checkmate them. But I don't want some crazy tactic showing up with my king completely exposed. So, spend one move running the king, and then uh, try to mate them next. Yeah, they're gonna take my rook. That's at this point that's fine. What can they do with the rook? Anyway? Rook is hanging. We exchange rooks. Shit. Let's get the move entry going. We got it. We took all the time we needed to, and it wasn't too much this time. All right. Well, oh, on the whole, we're still working our way up to one dawn on the site. Um, again, if I master my openings slightly better, it, uh, my time management should follow with that. Yeah, I mean that's Shogi Wars. Uh, thanks, Gay Grammar, for stopping by. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was pretty exciting. Um, so, yeah, I guess I try to prioritize a lot of different things. Sometimes, actually quite often, I don't manage my time very well. I either move too quickly or too slowly. There, we played it just right, um, at least for this site. But anyway, yeah, hope we enjoyed that series of games, and thanks for watching.